right there, mister. Don't take another step, or we'll blow your fucking head off. You're big, and I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. Yeah, I do. But it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. Hell no! No Mungo's allowed! Well, okay, but you better not be lying or else we'll shoot you. Happy birthday, Sticky. Sorry. Look, I don't just let any son of a bitch into my town. I'm taking a risk making an exception for you. So you're welcome in my town. At least until you start screwing up. Once that bullshit starts, you're out on your own again. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. You don't- We got pretty good- Yeah, I do. It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. If you're going to go through Murder Pass, let me know and I'll have the door open for you. But I still say it's a bad idea. You sure about that? It's scary in there. Even I don't like going in there, and I'm really brave. Okay, if you say so. Come on, let's get the gate open for you, Mungo.
found you! in this cage all my life. Yes, indeed it is ironic. Forgive my astonishment, but I hadn't expected to meet someone with such a learned outlook of these things. It is a pleasant change. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. It was only a matter of time before someone like you showed up for the deck. I know what it is. I know where it is. And best of all, I know how you can get your hands on it. Because you can help me let me out of this place. I can't take it anymore. I can't even recall how long I've been here. 
take me with you, and I'll retrieve the Gek for you. The chamber in which the Gek resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely you'd survive very long. Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow meta-humans. I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the Gek safely in your hands. At the end of the hallway, to your right is a maintenance room. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. So, what do you think? Can you do it? Glad to see you are a sensible person. Now, get me out of this place. I can't stand it anymore. I'll, I'll stay here until you've cleared a path to me. So just be careful. Some of these uh, failed experiments are quite nasty. We can discuss this later. Right now. Concentrate on getting this door open! It is my hope that we will speak again soon. this gift. You have no idea how long I've pictured this moment in my mind, and it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me. I was merciful.
Okay. You stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. Many of my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. As promised, yeah, here's the geck. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. Yes? What is it? Sorry. I'm afraid a super mutant wouldn't be welcome in the places you frequent. All I would do is cause you undue attention and you know, probably get you killed. Farewell, my friend. I suspect we may meet again. Objective is secured, sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain he's unharmed? Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Your mother, she... She was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate. About life. About love. But most of all, most of all she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, she had great things in mind for you. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please, I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> we'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? <laughs> We really shouldn't. <laughs> oh, 